Every day, 1,100 students pack into Dr. Margaret Ann Armour School. It's crowded because that's 200 more children than the building was designed for. It can be a real puzzle figuring out scheduling so that we're able to use all of our space as much as possible and accommodate as many students who live in our community as we possibly can. And this is happening all over the city. Edmonton Catholic School says 39% of its schools are full, and Edmonton Public says 18% of its schools are full. The situation is most pressing in high schools. In the Catholic system, there's only one school that's not at capacity. Edmonton Public is in slightly better shape, but planners say high schools will be full by 2027. So how did we get into this situation? Well, Alberta's population has been growing steadily since 2021. In just a year, the province's population grew by 4.3% to nearly 4.8 million people. And those new Albertans are bringing, or having, kids. School boards say they see no sign new enrollment will slow down, which presents a big challenge. Classes are getting larger, bringing together more students with complex needs, and there's no space to split big classes into two. So schools are getting creative. Our library has been shut down and all of the school books have been divided amongst the classrooms so that the kindergartners can learn in the library. And that's not a great option. At Dr. Margaret Ann Armour, a staff room is now a fitness studio. Science class has taken over the foods lab, and the art studio doubles as grade 8 social studies. And when there's no more room, the school has to turn students away, which means higher busing costs and longer rides for kids. The bottom line is we are growing fast and furious. We need new schools to be built fast and furious. Worried parents are now doing their own advocacy, warning others about the dire situation. I think, where is my son going to go? Because he's in grade six now, and we know that there's not enough high school space for his age group. Edmonton Public School says it needs at least seven projects funded this year at more than $300 million. Edmonton Catholic also says it needs to start seven projects worth $280 million. And the Francophone Board, which operates nine schools in Edmonton, needs nearly $400 million for schools across central Alberta. These are just three of the province's 63 school boards. But the amount spent on all school builds last year, including modular classrooms and projects that were already underway, was only about $630 million. Alberta's education minister knows the province needs more schools. His mandate letter from the premier tells him to, quote, significantly increase the number of schools in the communities of greatest need. I asked him what he would say to concerned parents. We're seeing, you know, population increase levels and enrollment levels in the province that we haven't seen in, in decades. So this is putting some serious pressure on our school divisions. So I would say we're, we see it, we're working towards addressing it. But Nicolaides hasn't said how much the province will spend on school construction over the next few years, or how closely that spending is tied to Alberta's fortunes. Janet French, CBC News, Edmonton.